My name is Phil Cutting and I live in Newbury, which seems to be full of very old houses. I'm not an expert, but I'm fascinated by all these old buildings in the town and I'm very keen to find out more about them. What I'd like to know is, which is the oldest building in Newbury? And to answer that question, we have to go back to the Norman Conquest of 1066. Before that time, there was a settlement here called Olverton, but no evidence of it has survived. But when William the Conqueror arrived, he gave this whole area to one of his knights who decided that he would build a new borough it doesn't take much to realise that New Borough eventually became New Bury. And then, about a hundred years later, St Bartholomew's Hospital was established. It's assumed there was a settlement here, perhaps a religious order. Anyway, in 1215, approval was given for an annual fair, given by none other than King John. Yes, that King John of Robin Hood fame. The profits from the fair went to uh, look after the hospital. Sadly, none of those 13th century buildings remain. These buildings were built 400 years later, so they're pretty old, but not the oldest building in Newbury. This is Northbrook Street. It's one of the main shopping streets of Newbury. One building that looks quite recent and yet was a hundred years old when St Bartholomew's almshouses were being built uh, is the Coat Brasserie behind me. It's variously been a restaurant, shops and now it's a restaurant again. And it does look quite recent. So it begs the question, how do you work out the age of a building like this? It can be very difficult to date a building. Sometimes you can trace records back but in many cases the paperwork just doesn't exist or it's unreliable. That's when you have to turn to the strange science of dendrochronology or the study of tree rings. As you might know, when you look at a cross section of a tree trunk, the rings represent the age of the tree. But the growing conditions in any year will have an impact on the size of the ring. And over the course of many years, a growth ring fingerprint will emerge, which will be similar for all the trees that were growing during that period. By comparing a core sample of an ancient house beam with tree ring records, it's possible to establish the date the tree was felled, and therefore the earliest date it could have been fitted in a house. Using dendrochronology techniques, uh, this building behind me, the, the Coat Brasserie, can be dated to 1497. That, that's the year that uh, Amerigo Vespucci set off to explore the New World, and when Vasco da Gama set off from Portugal to find a sea route to India. It's obviously had some work. You can see uh, a black line that represents the old roof line. Still, even this isn't the oldest building in Newbury. If we come down to the West Mills area of Newbury, we can see evidence of old mills that used to exist in the area. Uh, but these mills now are not that old. In fact, they're not even mills anymore, they're apartments. But opposite those mills are some very old cottages. They were old when they were purchased in 1672 to be made into almshouses. But just how old are they? When they took core samples from some of the beams in these houses and compared them with tree ring records, they discovered that these buildings date right back to 1476. That's the year when the young Leonardo da Vinci began his artistic career. So are these the oldest buildings in Newbury? <laughs> well, actually, no. Let's go and look at some more. So here we are back at St. Bartholomew's Almshouses that grew out of the old St. Bartholomew's Hospital. As I said before, these weren't built until 1618. 
That's a hundred years after those old cottages in West Mills. But across the road is St Bartholomew Manor and Cottage. And these probably are the oldest buildings in Newbury. According to dendrochronology, they've been dated back to 1436. The outside's been changed a little bit, remodeled, you know, but inside are some really ancient beams. And they, by means of dendrochronology, have been dated right back to the early part of the 15th century. Opposite St Bartholomew Manor is the Lytton. Uh, a Victorian house built in 1849 for St Bart's School. But round the back is something really interesting. This is the remains of the old medieval chapel of St Bartholomew's Hospital. There's not much left of it now, but it's advertised as a holiday home. And if you go online, there are photographs of the old medieval beams, which have been dated back to the same period as Bartholomew Manor and Cottage. So these then are the oldest buildings in Newbury. When they were first built, Gutenberg had just invented the printing press. It was a period of exploration and discovery when intrepid sailors like Columbus and John Cabot first explored the New World. Indeed, these houses and the ones on West Mills and Northbrook Street represent the change from the medieval world to the era of the Renaissance a period when scientific research began to expand and when artists like Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo created their great works. The next century saw significantly more houses built, along with some fascinating historical activities. We'll look into those next. <laughs>